we have Jasmine with us today. Hello, hi, I'm Jasmine Chan. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to do a short introduction about yourself? Okay, I'm a real estate mentor and a business coach in Singapore, uh, real estate industry. Um, and I help uh, real estate agents um, understand your business plans and uh, craft your own prospecting plans and build this business um, sustainable for yourself. Sustainable, yes, that's a beautiful word. The reason why I invited Jasmine, I shared with her earlier, is because she has one of the hustlingers, I don't know how to say that, hustling mindset. She is a one of the true hustlers that I've met and I really admire her story and I think her story is beautiful. She only shared a little bit uh, when I met her, but today we are going to share a little bit more. Do you want to, okay, you mentioned you are a property agent. I mean more than that now, but when you started, you were a property agent. Yeah. Right? How, when did you first start? At 21 years old. 21 yeah. years old? Yes. We will not talk about how long she has been in the industry. She also went fine, okay? <laughs> I will link her socials at the bottom of the video so you can find yourself. For your 21 years old, uh, okay, so there must be a point. I, did you stumble into the industry? No, I didn't. It was very much planned. Um, it was an intentional Intention, move. yes, correct. Okay. But it was many, very much due to the economy crisis. Um, uh, when I was 21 and then um, to be honest, I have never been employed before. Mm -hmm. So all my life, even when I am studying, I was doing freelancing. Mm -hmm. So um, I wanted to have a flexible of time, mm -hmm. freedom of mm -hmm. control of my own time. And uh, and yet I want to be able to make everything like uh, okay, okay. sustainable enough to feed myself and my family. Mm -hmm. So so um and i came across real estate industry i i saw people making a lot of money oh of um, course of yeah course. <laughs> i saw like hey how come these people like can make so much money from right these estate? people yeah <laughs> yeah <correct. laughs> i was like outside the industry uh, yeah so then i i'm very um determined that um uh, yeah i think I can you should be one work. of them also. yes <laughs> correct. i should try okay. yeah so i switched from an entertainment industry to real estate industry uh, at 21 years old uh, and um, it was literally a very big switch uh, because back then in the entertainment mm. industry, I was really making not so not bad uh, for a, a young person. Back yeah, then. but in entertainment mm. industry, got lifespan. Correct. Yeah. That's something that I considered. So I wanted something more suitable uh, for the long term. Mm. And and running a real estate uh, business is is literally a your own business. Of yeah. So it's good to start young, start building it, and mm. learn. Um, from the business, mm -hmm. from as from from beginning, and then uh, okay. yeah. So after seventeen <laughs> years, yeah, after seventeen, 17 years, years, she has built her own empire yeah. <laughs> in the real estate industry. Okay, this is a very capable question, and it's not a spring. I'm very curious because you know the people who earns um a good living and who are. Uh, who have freedom over their time and their finance. Usually, there are two types of agents, right? Property and insurance, mm -hmm. right? These are the two. These are the two that is a step out from the usual corporate life. Mm -hmm. What made you decide to do properties and insurance? Oh, I at actually, that point in time. Mm, okay, so I'm just curious. The, fun, the, the funny thing is, I actually went for both oh. at twenty one years old. Ah. Yeah. So I took my HI and my. For insurance, that's not mm -hmm. exactly. Yes, so yes, yes, I yes. Don't remember yes. what are the terms, yes, but yes, yes, yeah, yes. but I feel one people. So, oh, so you decided. <laughs> so okay. I, I actually went through it, but I felt it. But uh, uh, it was probably planned for me. So I then I met sense. someone during a road show doing um doing real estate, mm -hmm. and then yeah, and then I sort of like stumbled into real estate because there wasn't any examinations at that point of time. Yeah, it was more straightforward. Uh, yeah, I could, uh, as long as I, I signed up for the real estate course, I can actually uh, start the business. Uh, uh, yeah. So so that's the part where I don't have to wait. Mm -mm. And I, I just went straight in. So then as I decide to go in, um, there's no turning back. So I just keep going. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she has that mindset. She's like, okay, my target is set. It's time to keep going. Okay. Yes. So so when was the, when was the age or when? How long were you in that in industry before you realized that okay, this is what I'm gonna do for the rest of my life? Mm, I didn't think so. The moment I made the decision, ah, so it's like an all goal, la. It's yeah, it's, it's the focus. Yeah, ah. yeah, it's very important. And I'm that kind of person that if I were to make a decision forward, I will not look back. I will not look left and right. It's only yeah, forward. unless yeah. like unless you like fear, fear again. Then maybe you look for another path. 
if that's the case. Mm. Yeah, maybe, but so far, it's, it's like if it's you're focused, well for right, you. It, will, it will turn out well, usually, if you're very focused on what you're doing. Yeah. Focus yeah. and consistency. Yeah. You, we, for me, it's like I need to visualize what I'm going to do. Mm-hmm. And um, if I were to do this, what's kind of, what kind of outcome I'm mm-hmm. going to receive in the next two years or three years? Mm-hmm. You can literally visualize it before you work on it. Mm-hmm. And with that and with the focus, you keep consistency. Um, it will happen. The result will come exactly what you want. So you are kind of like a big picture and then you scale it down yes. to what you need to do. Yes. So uh, look at the big picture first and then we break it down into baby steps mm-hmm. and then we have a step 1 to 10. And then and you focus on the steps after that. Yes. And I'm very specific. I will have to write it down. I will actually have to let myself see it and remind myself what I'm supposed to do. The vision board is very big picture. But out of each of the you tasks, need to have like a step by step. Correct. Um, Correct. And that's okay, why I do. Yeah. And even in my mentoring um, sessions, I do this for our agents as well. Mm-hmm. Because many times um, agents who are not so focused, they, they tend to do something and then they sort of steal out of track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they didn't even know that they so are. So that is humans is like that. Because yes. we're always distracted by shiny things, right? That's the next new shiny thing. Yes. So you if this okay this is something to be frank huh, doing youtube and interviewing people has given me access access to because obviously if i see on the ground like hey hi how are you like i'm not gonna do that right i realize it has given me access to your mindsets mm-hmm. and there's something that is very that is a long-running theme which is vision board and keeping yourself on track yeah like yeah. you see today am i doing things that is moving me towards my goal that kind of thing mm-hmm. and, yeah, it's little baby steps, and and don't <laughs> underestimate baby steps. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. because every day if you do a baby step, you are getting closer to your goal. Okay, so I just God. keep the focus. How yeah. how often do you refresh your vision board? Um, usually my vision board is a very long term one. Yeah, you um, have a very big, big one. It's like a yeah. 10, 20 years kind of thing. Uh, right? yeah, usually it's five to ten years. Okay. Yeah, usually. Yeah, then um, I will break it down to yearly. Mm-hmm. I will have a yearly one. That is a baby step of the big picture, and then I will have a monthly one mm-hmm. that that is task fo- focused. Ah. Yeah, that that helps to drive me towards the annual goal. Yeah, and then which helps to drive you towards your five ten year. Goal. Correct, correct. So it's very well planned. Yeah, this is yeah, you literally <laughs> know what you're doing every day. Yeah, yes. and there's no way you can go out of track. And every time that if you are a little bit out of track, then you have to pull yourself back. And you're like, okay, today I'm not. Doing like so so much was my goal, but tomorrow mm. this is what I need to do. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. And I'm doing this like amidst um juggling a lot of different roles in my life. She's I, a mom, by the way. I have three kids. She has young. three kids. <laughs> three people. Okay, so you only have one to complain. <laughs> for your for your vision board, your five, ten years, uh, you have one, and then like maybe your yearly one. How long do you actually spend on your vision board? On, on to design design it. It. yeah to design it i'm not talking about the doing part but you i'm sure there's some kind of time amount of time you spend maybe yearly i don't know whatever monthly how often do you review and like mm. how much time you spend every planning year, your life every year at the beginning of the year i actually do this vision board uh, visualization uh, with my team um, so we will spend about three hour session together um, but we do it together so that we can motivate each other that um, it is possible. And we also pull out last year's vision board so that we see whether did you achieve what you want. So there's a kind of motivation there also. Yes, correct. So we also pull that out. And what I do is I will take photos and I'll record the, each of our agents talking about their vision board. And I'll keep it and I'll save it in my calendar, reminder for next year. So oh, I get what you mean. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. So I keep them on track. I keep our agents on track. That um, you know, if they didn't, she's control, like a mother. Yes, <laughs> like a mother hand to, to everybody. everybody. <laughs> yes. Um, and it's so important. Many times, uh, in life, if you don't have someone to keep you on track, it, it, you just go haywire right? everywhere. Yeah. And you have your own mentors to keep you on track also. Yeah. Um. Yeah. My mentors don't. Don't not not really not to talking the, every day like not yeah. to the detail like yeah, not to the level detail. where you're kind of like Correct. check in half a year once a few yeah years, like, mm, I will <laughs> I will call and uh, ask ah, and chat and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe ask some major questions that I feel that I need a little bit more advice and yeah ah, so that's yeah. uh my mentors I have a few yeah, yeah definitely few. and they will have their own mentors and, and so on and so forth this yes. is how it works I realize yes. 
Wow. Okay. So so for your industry, get back to the industry. I got I got carried away by uh, her life. <laughs> okay. I'm very curious. What is the biggest misconception people have when they hear that you have a property agent? Because that technically, mm. that is yeah. What is the biggest misconception? misconception uh, are you gonna sell me something? Ah. Uh, I think that yeah, property agent is a salesperson, Thank salesman. You mean, you're all salespeople. Something like that, yeah. I think uh, in the olden time mm-hmm. of uh, real estate industry, there are a lot of like, like very scammy kind of agents. Oh, very there. pushy. Pushy and maybe hard selling, uh, yeah, yeah, trying yeah, to sell yeah, something. Yeah. Or even sometimes when you are, you know, stay at home, someone knock on your door, yeah, 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 ask yeah. you to want to sell a house or not. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so it's that kind of image that people is like very not they still have it yeah correct uh-huh. correct but today right actually real estate um agents we we have evolved yeah we have evolved uh, a, a very big group of us um if we have we, we are trained in the angle towards uh asset progression strategies meaning um in the next generation right now um or in their 30s or in their mm, 20s mm. Uh, this generation we are not just looking for someone to sell and buy properties who knows mm-hmm. how to put an advertisement mm-hmm. and bring someone, but we are looking for someone with experience and a, a strategies to be able to strategize uh, home ownership uh, in the long term, mm-hmm. five years plan, ten years plan, fifteen years plan, mm-hmm. and while even holding on or staying in the property that we own, it depends we, on your lifestyle. Right? Depends on your lifestyle and life stage. Mm-hmm. Um, it also has to make money in the long run to mm. help our retirement as mm. Yeah. So property ownership is actually a tool in our life mm. that we can actually actively um, plan and execute a plan mm. to our 30 years of ownership of mm. property to help us to build a very comfortable living at the mm-hmm. end of our life journey. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, if you if you remember, you know, um, I mean, I'm 38 now, but uh, I remember I look at my parents' generation mm-hmm. who are in their 60s mm-hmm. right now. So different. Um, they were taught to own a HDB and then focus on fully paid the HDB. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. stay in the HDB. But now it doesn't work that way anymore because Correct. the rules have changed, right? Uh, rules change and also uh, mindsets of uh, the and next infla- generation. And that's inflation, it doesn't work that way anymore. Yeah, and then what happened is I have seen the older generation who are in their 60s right now, they do own a fully paid HDB. Mm-hmm. The HDB has appreciated value, mm-hmm. like maybe uh, 700,000, you know, look yeah. like you have. Last time they made by 200,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like I need 500,000 on the property, but no, is they are stuck at it. And correct, they correct. cannot sell. Yeah. First, they, they sell it, they cannot buy anything else because True. the money is all in the property, they sell in the CPF. Yeah. Um, and uh, even if they were to downsize, the next property that they buy, it's also very expensive. Yes, so they, much more expensive. Yeah. And so they ended up not Just having a lot there, of right? money left yeah. in their pockets. So they can't have you can't have a very comfortable retirement journey. So technically, end. yes, they do have an asset, but it's not like a easily liquidifiable asset correct right it's like i have this golden egg but nobody wants to buy it from me it's, I not, buy. it's not that you can't nobody want to buy but people yeah, want to buy true. but if you sell you have no house to yeah like how much should i how much should i yeah and, and then and then you have, even if you sell and buy the next one for own stay your pocket seems not able to have that enough for mm. retirement as well so it's pretty much stuck there when we are in the 60s if if if, if today's generation is 60s so so i i look at that generation and i tell myself no, no, no that's not where i want to go yeah yeah i don't want to be there <laughs> very scared you don't want to be stuck, you want to be stuck. <laughs> yes and so um mm. a very strategic uh, mm. action plan is to put in place um when we are still young we have to plan it now, Correct. yeah, if from the 20s as early as possible mm-hmm. to actually upgrade our ownership, uh, property ownership, um, to build capital gain, to yes. build uh, passive from mm-hmm. ownership of properties. And then from here, at the, by the time we are 40s or 50s, we should be owning the biggest property of our life because that's the time when we are earning the, we're at the peak of our career, we're earning the most amount of active income. And we built that um, that uh, journey while your kids are still at home and stuff. Like mm-hmm. that. When eventually, when we are 
going towards the retirement mm. age. That's the time when you sell the biggest property of your life and then you downsize to the smaller one. And then you kind of like enjoy life with that. So you can cash out. Have cash, yeah, yes. That difference, it's your yes. retirement funds. Yeah. yeah. But in order to reach there, right, we have to start small and slowly roll that little It's small basically ball. a long game. Yes. It's a very, very long game. Correct. But it will bring you gains. Like, and I will agree with you 100%. Sometimes... Before I met my other friend who's also a property, I would say asset management. Mm. It's no longer just an agent anymore. Yeah. I also had the mindset that oh, property agent all hard selling and mm. etc. I think it comes from my parents' mm. generation, right? Mm. Where most agents like that. Correct. Yeah, but yeah. after I met her, after I met Jasmine, I realized it's not true anymore. Not all, but if yeah, the I mean, agents are being trained properly, I think mentored properly, mentored, properly. mentored <laughs> um, coached, yeah. <laughs> Uh, and it's a journey because all this requires experience. Yeah, uh, experience, uh, growth, and all that. So with that, then um, work together with someone who's able to strategize this together. Then, mm. then you can visualize a five years plan, ten years mm. plan, uh, and like exactly. that, you can actually execute and set progression for yourself. Yes. And you can literally see where you will be at the end of your own journey. You will see light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> yeah, it's a long set that we have to yeah. you know, acknowledge that this mm. is there, that is a learning journey. Mm. Um, and many, many people have really done it. We have helped many customers. Yeah, it is definitely proven. It is definitely doable. Yeah. Because that I truly agree that if you want to go somewhere in life, right, you need to start early. It's not like a, it's not like a, suddenly tomorrow, oh, I change how I act, then the day after I get returns, it doesn't work like that, <laughs> whatever you do in life. Okay. I feel it's more like you have to be conscious, that you know that there's this thing happening, and then yes. you have to get learn about it. Mm. Not, maybe you don't need it now, mm. maybe like now I cannot afford to buy a property. Mm. It's okay, yeah, but at least you learn about concepts, you learn about what other people is actually actively doing, and then when you're ready, when the you, opportunity comes, correct, when you're ready yes. to take action, you know that you're ready to really jump so, in. Yeah. yeah. Preparation. Yeah. Yeah. So preparation, and then when the opportunity comes in, you have the ability mm -hmm. and the knowledge to act. Versus just suddenly the opportunity comes, I don't know what to do. Then you miss the opportunity. Yeah. The window opportunity. Correct. Wow. Okay. Lovely. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Now we come to the three of questions. I don't know what's three plan or whatever. The background of questions. Do you want to pay? It's like, it's the first time I come here about this. <laughs> because you can tell she is a very sophisticated, elegant person, and I am not. <laughs> my things are like cute. Oh, look at this, the flower. Okay. Which one would you like to pick? The teddy bear or so? Yeah, okay. just pull this. this. Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, this is interesting. Do you want to read it or do you want me to read it? Okay, you can read it. Okay. What is the most painful lesson you have learned from it? Maybe not painful, it can be painful or the biggest that stuck with you. Biggest lesson that I've learned in life. Yeah. Biggest or most people. Usually the biggest lessons are the most painful. That one I is from my personal experience. Okay. Um when I'm in my 25, mm -hmm. 26, mm -hmm. if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So 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 because I started real estate at 31, right? I I accumulated some um, savings mm -hmm. yeah, from from making uh, from building this business, mm -hmm. and then naturally at the age where we are in our twenties, we're really curious. We go online, you know, we want ah. to see um, how the stock working work, how does you know, and then but I am not so sure mm -hmm. how it works. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I actually got um uh I got a uh, into I got to know asset management. Companies, mm. yeah, mm. and so I sort of parted my money and give it to a company to manage mm. for um to do. Oh my market. goodness! Yes, right. Was it so, a scam? No, it was not a scam. It was not a scam. <laughs> but because I don't know what I'm doing, it was uh, like I trusted other uh, people uh, oh, to do it to for do you it for us. Yeah, and then I think um it was uh put into certain portfolios and. I remember there was a crisis happened mm -hmm. during that time. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was currency. I can't remember what, but the some crisis cu happened. Some currency thing, forex or something. Oh, yeah. yeah. Then, um, it was three days. I lost uh, two hundred fifty thousand. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's quite scary. Uh, yeah. Especially at your age, right? Where you are twenty plus. It's, it's not like you have twenty million. No, no, no. You're like yeah. that's almost everything I have already. 
uh, yeah, so I think um, I think uh, uh, I, I wasn't very I was of course I was shocked lah, but then mm. I wasn't really set back too much because I when I actually invested that money with the company I take it as okay it's a it's a trial if if it works it works if it doesn't work it's okay I take it as a loss you so it's really mentally to... prepared yes correct ah, correct okay. but it really did happen you know so <laughs> so it became a huge lesson for you correct so then I realized that I really don't dabble things that I actually don't know because it wasn't in my control ah, that's it true. wasn't con- uh, I couldn't control it yeah even yeah, like no, when to sell even if today I say I want to sell I also cannot sell like, I have to go through the company yeah, to sell yeah, yeah. So, I don't sell for you I, yeah, no, I the only know. instructions, but the thing yeah. is, yeah, it's just not really control. Yeah, so then I feel like, okay, let's not touch things that are not uh, really in control. So I went to uh, literally plan my property ownership. So I actually do my own. Mm-hmm. Everything is like, I already have the knowledge. If I'm not so sure, I'll go and study on it. Mm-hmm. And then I plan it and I do it. So in real estate, I'm in control. Yeah. yeah. And then through the real estate journey, um, of course, I, I meet. I mean, it's uh, money through, through the journey, but not in um, you know other other investment. Also, oh, you decided yeah. to stick to focusing. Correct, stick to what <laughs> I'm good at. <laughs> you should not try to. If you are a good runner, you should not try to go swimming. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. That is a very quite, uh, yeah quite a learning curve. Yeah. Uh, it was such. It was a huge learning curve for you. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Correct. <laughs> yeah. Huge learning curve. Yeah, but I, I can really do imagine. I do have friends who uh, used uh, borrowed money, yeah. then that they will end up in debt. Yeah, so it's I think it's something that I think every young person may go through. That like that you want to try something, yeah, yeah, especially correct. if you know there are people who do make money from it. Yeah, there are, but people when they lose, they don't tell you. It's true. Uh, it's, so it's just like when people buy 4D to do. People they make money, money yeah. yeah. They will have only their feng guang shi yeah, yeah, yeah. But then like, they have invested 10 years of their life. You don't, they never tell you. <laughs> they don't tell you like how much they invest every week, invest every week right? in the total life. Actually, yeah. probably it's a loss like, in the long term game. Yeah, okay. Likely. Okay, very good. Thank you for <laughs> Please just focus on what you're good at. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. One more? Nice. Yeah, we're going to do maybe like three. Okay. Um, two. What do you think the world needs uh, more of? Oh, I love this. It's a very big picture question. What do you think the world needs more of? Or if you want to... Okay, up to you. Mm. What do you think the world needs more of? Or what do you think your community needs more of? You don't want to say. Um, more love and happiness. Know, right? Like realize that we are actually in a very good place. Yeah. <laughs> like gratitude in life, I think. Yeah. I think um, sometimes when we're hustling or we're doing um, living our life, we, we want more and more and more and more yeah. and more. It's like never <laughs> It's never enough. Yeah, correct. <laughs> actually, when you look at the very big picture to compare to the other parts of the world, I think we are in a very, very good place. <laughs> very fortunate. Yeah. 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 So I think uh, realize um realize that uh, we actually uh there are more priorities in life other than hustling hustling is just one part but i think uh look around slow down look around people around us um give love mm-hmm. yeah and 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 uh, be happy and uh, create happiness around the community mm-hmm. yeah so um be very positive and and have that very beautiful a positive environment. Mm-hmm. Make sure everybody that knows you becomes more loved, more happy the moment we talk to each other. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's uh, something that we I feel it's it's very important. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um I'm at the stage of love my life right now is like um this is more important than anything else. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So so I spend a lot of time with my children. Mm-hmm. Like um I I put in schedule that I will want to pick up my kid at mm-hmm. uh, certain time. Mm-hmm. I personally want to do like a lot okay of date. Yeah, mm-hmm. correct. It's literally scheduled in. It's more important than meeting my customer. It's very intentional, <laughs> like, basically. Yes, correct. It's true, it's prioritizing a life, right? Okay. I mean you prioritizing, you have already prioritized hustling. Yes. That's okay. She has prepared, she has hustled very hard. That's why now she can enjoy the fruits of her labor. Mm, yeah, yeah, maybe right? Yeah. 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 I, I have mentored like my next generation. So mm-hmm. so I am 
pretty much having um, the more f- much freedom of my personal time, mm. and then I I can still have a team it's working. True, true. Yeah, mm. and and then everybody grows together. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not magic. No. She hustled hard and she prepared for it, and that's why now she can take it a little bit easier, little bit only. Little bit only, right? uh, yeah, so very much in con- uh, in the management position at the moment. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I think love, happiness, having that uh acknowledge that these are very important aspects of life, I think. Yeah. It's very important. Yeah. Because yeah. otherwise at the end of the day you realize that you're hustling so hard for for, for what? what? Yeah. yeah. For what? <laughs> for what? Yeah. yeah. So the motivation behind. Imagine your two sons are hustler, then that's it, lah. Finish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, that's not how I want my life to go. Correct. But I resonated very, very hard because it's something that I really believe in. Like if everybody that we meet, right, should get a little bit happier, a little bit more joy, then it's all good. Yes. Yeah, my life is great. Yes. That's as hard as you say. Yes. High five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like I haven't high five since my kid this morning. Okay, one last question. Ooh. Yes. What is your biggest challenge oh, as a mentor? Oh, yes. That's yeah, a... as a mentor, I have a lot of challenges. Because I, I meet uh, huge ones, people all over from all walks of life. They come with different backgrounds, they have different, different ones, stories, different needs, different, baggage, different ability. Baggage. Yeah, correct. So the biggest challenge is um, you know, as a female leader in the real estate industry, it's actually quite rare to mm. find uh, female leadership. There's a lot of female agents. However, um, females taking control and management a team of agent who is a mixture of male and female. And then I have all different age, so I have mm. like 20 plus all the way to 60 plus. Mm. Yeah. So um I have to make sure that uh, I'm being respected. Mm-mm. Yeah. And um naturally I attract quite a number of females to me because the ladies can understand the yeah. a lot better. Yeah. yeah. And so I have a lot of moms, mommies uh, who come and uh, who come into this industry wanting a very flexible time to build a business, earn we some baby, but still have time for mm-hmm. the children. Mm-hmm. Yeah, correct. So, so um, I have a lot of such profiles coming mm-hmm. to me, and um, one of the profile I am very very is very vivid uh, is that uh, when I got to know her, she actually had her real estate license for about thirteen years. Oh. oh, it's a long time, right? So, but she's not active. She's not practicing. She's not, not, mm-hmm. not practicing. So I ask her, um, um, so uh, why are you not doing mm-hmm. it? And then she says, uh, I don't know how to start. Oh, yeah. Okay. So she's keeping her license alive. Oh. Alive like by renewing, oh. paying the licensing fees. But she's not actually using it. She's not using it because she's not so sure how to do it. And, and, and then like nobody is able to help. Or oh, rather yeah, to yeah, guide. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She don't know who to go to. Mm-hmm. And um and it's not easy because she's like uh, maybe doing it part-time because she has uh, children, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So so I think uh, and we all and this is a self-employed business. So mm-hmm. being in a self-employed business, I think everybody ha- has a priority over their own time. So even if like she goes to anybody and asks, Can you help me? Can you help? But nobody's like very much interested to help. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, because it means taking time off from my schedule. Correct. Correct. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So 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 when I got to know her, um I told myself if I don't help, nobody else is gonna help. Mm-mm-mm. So I decided that I, I I'm gonna to schedule time. her in. Yeah, I'm gonna invest time and, and there's no guarantee that she's gonna become oh, like top producer, you know. So we don't know. Yeah. Uh so I started that uh it was just last year that I got to know her. Uh, around April, May like that last year. And um and then after the first meeting I realized that she has a little bit lack of confidence. Mm-hmm. She was wearing very baggy clothes, mm-hmm. big jeans, and then just a little slouch. Yeah. So sometimes I think she's staying home for too long. Um, yeah, okay, they don't stay okay. home, mommy, taking care of kids, uh, don't need to doll up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that that look doesn't look like a property agent for sure. Mm-hmm. You can't sell anything in that mm-hmm. look for sure. Yeah. So the first thing I did was um I actually bring her shopping. <laughs> I, I sort of uh, give her a makeover, you know, I think it's quite important. Yeah, sort of bring her out of that mummy shelf. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um she also had a little bit of like um self-confidence issue. Mm-hmm. So when we talk, um 
it's very hard for her to bring her, her uh, like how do I tell uh, that that confidence of speaking out mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. very shy, very soft spoken. Mm-hmm. Yeah, correct. Yeah, it took me a long time to talk to her. You know, keep role playing, keep talking. Um, and bring her out to meet customers. Um, she she does a lot of prospecting. I give her. She had a dream board as well. I give her the tasks step one to ten. So she she follow very diligently uh. a task. Um, most of the task she did it on her own, and then she comes back to me, like sort of yeah, reporting back to me How's on it a going? daily basis. Mm. Yes, got uh, daily. Yeah, and so so I did that. Um, about three months, Mm-mm. she transformed. <laughs> Three months, yeah. She transformed. She started closing. She started ah. closing, and then one by one, by one by one, and of course, I go with her to meet some of the customers as well. Because for a start, for someone to restart this business, mm. uh, even though thirteen years, but it's as good as a baby, you know. Yeah, as good as a baby because she didn't really meet customers yeah, yeah. in that thirteen years. Yeah. So I go with her to meet customers to execute a separate plan and then she started signing contracts one and uh, one after another and it's boosted her business yes, confidence yes. yeah and slowly she started meeting customers on her own uh, yeah and this year she's on the stage of <laughs> real estate top producers yeah one year with us just one year is yeah. that considered a very short time? It's considered short uh, for one year. Oh. Uh, of course, it has a learning curve. Oh. So, uh, but she was willing to put in a time. Correct. Like She's mm-hmm. willing to make it happen. Mm-hmm. Still, still balancing her time with the children, mm-hmm. but uh, she really make it. And um, and I realized that many times, right, it's not just the real estate knowledge. Mm-hmm. It's building up personal confidence mm-hmm. in a person. Yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. and once the person is very confident. No matter what you want to do or you do, it can, can happen. Yes, yes can correct. Happen. Things can happen. Yes. Yeah. So, so my role with um that is really to pinpoint what exactly is the the, the thing the, that the, I need the to work block, on. The block. Correct. Oh. Yeah. As a mentor, it's so you can at help the very beginning was not even real estate. <laughs> it was usually it's yeah. not real estate. Correct. Correct. <laughs> correct. 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 So, so for me, I think she has the knowledge, right? So certain basic knowledge. Yeah. Yes. So it's not the. It's not the knowledge. Uh, so as a real estate mentor, I'm also a coach, like I have to provide a very holistic. You have part of your life. Correct. Right? Yeah. And many times I also listen to their stories and of course, sometimes of they're feeling emotionally not work, not help. They will call not, you for some yeah, support. Correct. Yeah. And then if I'm able to solve and maybe provide a senior that problem, yeah. then their business can fly. Sometimes it's not just about providing solutions. Sometimes it's just need somebody to listen to. Correct. And then they'll be like, they talk about that, oh I have a solution already. Correct. <laughs> many times. That's that's yeah, the case. Yes. It's, it's very common. Correct. Wow. So yeah. as I remember your listening ear must be very huge. Now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. Okay. So that does it does it really help you like move forward as a mentor? Like when you of course there are some that uh that there are, there are people that uh, may stay with you, may not. Yes, but yes. those but those that stay with you and you see them grow, you feel like oh Yes, the satisfaction level is really high. It's different, right? It's very different and now we are not and uh, as a mentor we actually don't really make money so much over oh. that it's more of to when i see the success stories that keeps you moving like mm. keep going yeah so like one after another and when they when i see that we manage to help them to build that business mm. and the business feeds their family mm. and then they they are very happy with a beautiful yeah. life yeah um i think that's that's something money cannot buy it's true, that is something yeah, money cannot, cannot buy. Cannot buy yes. If not, why would you spend time doing it? Yes, yeah, right? it's, it's a lot of time. Right? It's a lot of time. Lot of time yeah. Imagine you just have one friend that is that needs to call you for support, that's really take a lot of time she has. I don't know how, how many yes. hundred. <laughs> I mean, obviously some need more support. And, yeah. But I think you'll be very happy when they don't need your support so much and they start to like take off. Yes, eventually they will. So usually yeah. our, yeah. our guide is about to five months, three to six months like that, they will take off. They should have a very good experience for the first few months. Then, uh-huh. when they take off, uh, sometimes they don't even want to call me. Already. When I call them, they cut my phone. <laughs> I'm gonna try the Yeah, correct. <laughs> Just you not now. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Yeah, so but that's good that they are really. Busy. It's a good sign for you, like you are. You have brought them to another level. Oh. Yes, yes. I, I get my CEO asking me, "Why are you doing this?" Why not? Yeah, yeah. So my answer is like, I know if I don't help these people, 
nobody asked for help. So it's true, it's true. So I'll just do it. No, someone has to do it. If not like, you, then who? I'll do it. <laughs> but there must be a reason why they come into my life and get to know me, right? So it's I guess, true, it's true. Yeah, it's I guess true, that's true. how it works. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. So it just from one, then one by one, one by one, it builds that community. And the words so. and the word spread that we have some uh, mother hen, <laughs> mother hen Jasmine. Yeah. <laughs> she will give you some guidance along the way. But I think it's quite beautiful like, how they are doing. Yes. Like you have evolved. Not just not just okay, this is a question that's not um, you're just done with the tree already. People, okay. okay. This is a question that I'm uh, curious about. What has mentoring taught me? What has mentoring taught me? So me mentoring someone? Yeah, what has what has that process taught you? Because as a book agent, you grew, mm-hmm. I think it taught you some things. And mm-hmm. then after you not shifted to the level of your mentor, mm-hmm. right? What has that that mentoring process taught you? Um that we don't judge anyone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because uh, I think through mentoring process, I get to I I get the I get the opportunity to meet a lot of people from different walks of life and in our entire life stage right there's always ups and downs mm. so um actually in the team i get i'm very honored that i'm able to work with a lot of veterans mm. veterans who are 30 years experience in real estate uh-huh. like very very long time 20 years 30 years uh, much longer than me mm-hmm. yeah and um uh, and uh they they are like when they are so famous, right? I am like new agent, you know, when I first started. Ah, yeah. right. So they were people that I am looking up to uh, mm-hmm. when I was when I was mm-hmm. starting out. So and now um I realized that uh, because I don't judge anybody and and I work on a very collaboration collaborative and very supportive way of uh, working together. And um then I, I, I get my the chance to work with a lot of these veterans and then uh, I will look at what is their their strengths, what's their weakness, mm-hmm. and what's my strength, what's my weakness, mm-hmm. and we try to marry them. Uh, uh, and then from there, so what can you each bring to the table? Correct. Okay. Yeah, and then it actually ignites their career, mm-hmm. and it also elevate uh, and, and allow me to learn from their experience because mm-hmm. they do have more experience than me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But maybe there are certain aspects of me who is stronger, so mm-hmm. I can actually help them to boost their career, to, mm-hmm. to reignite it, or even to bring it to another level that they didn't even think that they could. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because nowadays, you know, in our generation, we are going digital. Yeah, it's, it's a different way, very of different way of doing business mm-hmm. compared to last time. Yes. But they, they do come with very good experience. But for them, it's probably harder to go um, social media. Yes, yes, they find it strange. Now. Uh, how then to adapt and maybe yeah, yeah. to relearn everything while well, I can take them ages, yeah. right? Yeah. So, so by by having a collaboration with the younger generation like mm. us, um, we can help the and everybody win together. Really. So basically, you bring this and they bring this and then you make something bigger. Correct, correct. And and then I see a lot of uh, whoa, you know, a lot of rooms. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Realize that this new technology world is not as scary. Yeah, it's yes, not as scary. It is. And then I can provide all kinds of support, really about transparency, very open communication. I give them my opinions, my ideas, my vision. And then um, they just have to tell, uh, we share out with us what they want to achieve, mm-hmm. and then we try to do it together. Mm-hmm. And things just happen. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then one by one, yeah. milestones happen. Yeah. So, yeah, veterans and all this, I think. This I is think important. only possible because there's no judgment on both sides. Yes, correct. You don't say, you don't ah, judge. you're young, you don't know. Then you don't say, ah, you're old, you don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 correct. And yeah. Uh, in, in businesses, there's always ups and downs. So, of course. Yeah, so. In life. Yeah, <laughs> and many times it's like people don't dare to talk to each other because they're paise. No, I'm not paise. Ah, but, but for us, <laughs> our generation, we're not paise. Yeah, <laughs> the younger ones even the more not correct, right. correct, correct. So this is something that I think um I think we yeah we, it's it's a change. It's, it's different. The world is different. The world is changing. Yes, yeah, and with right. AI, it will become even more. Different. Oh yes, yeah. Oh, like, AI. Oh my there's so many new things to learn. Yes, yes. Okay, but yeah, that that that's where the world is going next, and it's not about whether we like it or not. It's you just have to follow because yes. it's here to stay, ma. Yes, right. It's not. Yes. I, it's not like oh, I don't want. I don't want to talk about it. But it's it's there. Correct. Right. Okay. okay. This is the wheel of misfortune. Not misfortune. 
<laughs> okay, yeah. this one, Jasmine has no idea what this is. Yes, okay, so right. basically, you work, it's a pinwheel, you spin, yep. and then there are like things that you can do, Okay. Uh, that uh, you should do. <laughs> I will ask you to do that is requested to do. Okay. But if you don't want to do, it's fine. We are, we are not uh, monsters here. I will just hit her with the... Uh, Pink, uh, toy, <laughs> a very painful one. Okay, okay. So, okay, you can see this is where the no thing is. Okay, that was this. <laughs> She's like, this is the first show I'm on that is like so full of nonsense. <laughs> oh, back review. Are you okay with that? What is that? That means you show what's inside your bag. Oh, my bag. Okay. Are you okay with it? Sure, no problem. Okay, so you can show. Okay, you Ta -da. <laughs> Okay, this bag has been with me for a while. <laughs> No, it looks very good. Okay, maybe not the entire bag inside because sometimes sure. you have secret have secrets. Sure. What are the three things? Okay, besides your mobile phone, yeah. mobile phone aside, what are the three things that you cannot leave without inside your bag? That you must always bring it out. Okay. Besides mobile phone and maybe keys, I know. Okay, then I have <clears throat> what are the three things that you cannot that like you go out you must you must Actually, my your bag, uh, despite this size, right? Inside is like a Doraemon. <laughs> No, actually, people don't be deceived, okay? For girls, you will know. Bags that look small does not mean their capacity is small. Yes. You see the bottom, no, yuan yuan one, right? And the fact yes. that means at the bottom, you yes. see the bottom, yeah, you can keep a lot of things inside one, okay? Same goes, my bag is about this size, but of course, not this brand. Also, a lot of things inside one. Okay, so, uh, I'm a real estate thing. agent, so this one is compulsory one. So, we oh, have to go everywhere with our land, yeah, with our license. Uh, this one, yeah, because I don't know where I'm gonna meet. So that she's real. Yeah, and real, and I, I don't know where I'm gonna meet someone. So uh, this one has to be carried everywhere. So this is the item number one that she cannot leave yes. house without. And then also my office keys that Obviously. is attached to this. So this yeah. one set, the yeah. gray, correct. Then I have a uh, lipstick. Ah uh, yeah. Uh, sometimes uh, I don't have time to do like a full makeup, so uh, I will just only put one lipstick so that at least I look alive. Alive. <laughs> okay, as a girl, you will know this lipstick and eyebrows. This two. You yeah. Know this two. Then I go for very natural color. Like this is your go-to Yeah, it's like a cannot go wrong color. Can, can go with everything. Everything. Yeah, correct. Because I don't know whether it's a function or not or me and I yeah. yeah. So. This one, uh, yeah, so this two. Okay, last one. Um, last one. I... Let me see. <laughs> like a Doraemon bag, you see. Yeah, yeah. Was, actually, I would agree, you know, that bags, uh, girls' bags inside have a lot of interesting things. Right? Yeah, okay, maybe my car keys. Oh, I yeah, do okay. Without my keys. Yeah, my see. car. Yeah. Um, yeah, almost <laughs> handicapped without a car. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's also convenient for sure. Like. Maybe because I'm used to, so it's like very used to traveling yeah, with our own transport then at the moment. So you got some stuff in your car also, right? Like oh, the like car umbrella. is like a mega handbag. Yeah, because the <laughs> umbrella is inside. I don't know what else is inside. One of the things, my car is like really yeah, a you open the book, it's another handbag by yes. itself. <laughs> this is the uh, mini version and the car is a large version. <laughs> okay, okay, this is, I think this is it. Um, the very last thing that I usually ask, if you could go back five years mm. and talk to yourself, what would you tell yourself? Five or ten years? I wouldn't change anything actually. Is yes. there any piece of advice you would give yourself? Um, Just do what you're doing. <laughs> piece of advice I would yeah. give myself? Okay, um, five years. Five years. I'm already hustling. So maybe if I were to go back a little bit more, maybe 10 years, mm -hmm. okay. Um, I would say, uh, whatever happens to you in life, uh, don't need to feel frustrated or blame yourself or uh, feels that, uh, why is this happening to me? Mm -hmm. Because uh, I believe every one of us will go through certain downs where you will start blaming life, mm -hmm. like start asking, why is it me? Why is it? Yeah, mm -hmm. because... Uh, I, I do went through my fair share of my gowns and mm. then now, fast forward today, I look back, I realize everything that happened to us has a reason to happen and it is there to build us to be who we are in preparation for today. Mm. Yeah. So that's um that's really what I it has happened to me. I yeah. Yeah. Mm. 
So, but 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 because when you don't know what you're gonna become in the future, mm-hmm. right? You tend to start blaming yeah. life, and then start thinking like, why me? You know, why it's so bad? Why things have so bad happen to me? Then you start feeling dejected and stuff, and that's very normal. Mm, yeah, so. that's very normal. But if you were to be able to realize that it's actually okay to accept what happens to you. Look at what you need to look at the situation, what you need to react, what you need to do positively to bring you forward in life. Mm. Focus on that solution, mm. and you eventually you will reach where you want to go, where you are supposed to. Go. Mm. Yeah, and things will work out. Somehow. Things always, things it always will always work, work out. Yes, yes correct. It will always work out, and by mm. being able to accept it, uh, you will be able to live happier. Mm. But you for, don't forget the happiness portion. Yes, yes. Yeah. And always, uh, yeah, be loved and happy. I think that's the part that will bring you towards... Um, where you want to go. Yeah, where do you mm. want to go. And today, actually, when I have kids, right, I, I teach them uh, not to... The most important thing in life is not money, it's not work, is love and happiness. Mm. That's how I teach my kids. Mm. So... So they, they will tell me the most important thing is love. But mommy, I love you. You know, they, they, they will remember why they are leaving. Like the reason why they work so hard is for what? They yes. Remember that. Correct. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So so that's something that I think will be a very good uh, learning for the younger people. Yeah. For younger Jasmine. Yeah, younger, <laughs> yeah, for younger me. And also I believe a lot of them will be able to connect with this. Yeah, it's true. A lot of people don't believe it, but it's true. It will pass. Yeah. The bad times will pass, but sometimes the good times also will pass. Because <laughs> life is like that one, man. It's a cycle, cycle, cycle. Yes, yes, yeah. Yeah, okay. Very good. Thank you so much for being very open with us today uh, with the Kpo Me. And um, really, thank you so much for taking time out today. Mm-hmm. This is Jasmine. We will link her socials at the bottom. She's going to start a new podcast soon. So we will also link that in once the video is out. And we will see you guys in the next episode of Sim Sim but Different Fun. Thanks for watching this video. If you like what you have just watched, remember to like, share and subscribe. You can also follow us on other social media platforms. And if you have someone that you would like to recommend as a guest, leave a comment below. See you in the next episode.